And then we have this maintenance-related complications, but is this maintenance or is it really bad planning? And I also want to introduce now the, the, the term of downgrade capacity of our dental prosthesis. Why are those uh, two implants there underneath the bar? I don't know. Um, how did you call it then? <laughs> Implantomania? I don't know. <laughs> yeah. So this is not, not very well planned. And I mean, even, even it, if it was a bridge before and then it was for, clean, for cleaning reasons downgraded to a bar, good, but why did those two implants have to stay? And then also we should like really think about simplifying the design, be making it able to clean for the patients. And, um, and for example, this design where you just have then one bar uh, milled out of, out of one piece without abutments could help this. Technical complications, is this a technical or a biological complication? Um, Danny, you showed a different, uh, a very similar case as well. Um, you had it in the, in the stomach here, it's in the right lung. Yeah? Um, we should be aware if patient lies back, if they have 60% of elderly patients uh, tend to have a, a dysphagia. So if they lie back, that fall, they don't have a coughing reflex. This ends up always in the right lung. Yeah? And here, I always show this as well to my, uh, to my students, that here the retentive arm of the, of the clasp is missing. So, well, yeah. So is this a technical problem or is it a biological problem? I think it's a mixture of both. So we have this mechanical and this technical risks. And what we also need to be aware of is when you have this, this is now the 84-year-old lady I showed you who was frail in the beginning. Um, we should be aware this was the last time I've done a, such an invasive treatment for such an old patient. 